Hi friends, I am Sujoy and I am back with a new series of tutorials for you. In this series of tutorials, I am telling you how to do a decomposition of a matrix. On my first video, I told you how to find out the LU decomposition by shortcut method. In my second video, I told you how to find out the LU decomposition by crowds method. And today in the third video, I will tell you two things. Number one, how to find out the LU decomposition of a square matrix by elementary matrices and number two how to find out LU decomposition on Casio FX and on ES scientific calculator this video gonna be very interesting so let's start so these are our square matrix A with three rows and three columns remember to find out the LU decomposition the matrix must be a square matrix so for some basics as you may know this is called row 1 or R1 this is R2 and this is R3 similarly this is called column 1 or C1 this is C2 and this is C3 and this is called the diagonal or the principal diagonal so there are two diagonals one is left diagonal or principal diagonal another is right diagonal so generally we consider the left diagonal or the principal diagonal so let's proceed to the solution LU decomposition stands for lower upper decomposition where the matrix A is equals to product of two sub matrices L and U where L is the lower triangular matrix lower triangular means all the elements on the diagonal are 1 and all the elements are there below the diagonal forming a triangle this is a triangle and all the elements above the diagonal are 0 so since the elements are lower to the diagonal this is called lower triangular matrix and the opposite is U where all the elements are there on the upper triangle this is a triangle also on the triangle and all the elements below the diagonal are all 0 there is another representation for L and U that you may see in my second video that is LU decomposition by crowds method <coughs> so what is our objective our objective is to decompose or break down our matrix A into two sub matrices so first we will decompose the matrix A into the upper triangular matrix how I will tell you so for that first we will write an identity matrix an identity matrix is a matrix where all the diagonal elements are a 1 and every other element on the matrix are 0 and we know the identity matrix into any square matrix is equals to the matrix itself so my identity matrix into A is equals to the matrix A so now we will convert this matrix into a upper triangular matrix that is we will get three zeros at this position we will get a 0 at this position at this position and at this position so first to get a 0 at this position we can multiply the R1 by 3 and subtract that from R2 so that I have written R2 is equals to R2 minus 3 R1 so let's do it 1 into 3 is 3 subtracted from 3 is 0 3 into 3 is 9 subtracted from 15 is 6 and 4 into 3 is 12 subtracted from 20 is equals to 8 and R3 remains same and you have to do the same operation on the left hand side also so let's do it R1 into 3 subtracted from R2 so 1 into 3 is 3 subtracted from 0 is minus 3 0 into 3 is 0 subtracted from 1 is 1 and 0 into 3 is 0 subtracted from 0 is 0 and R3 remains same and this is our E1 or elementary matrix 1 so now we have got a 0 at this position next we will get a 0 at this position also for that we can multiply the R1 by 2 and subtract that from R3 so that I have written here R3 is equals to R3 minus 2 R1 so let's do it 1 into 2 that is 2 subtracted from 2 is 0 3 into 2 6 subtracted from 18 is 12 and 4 into 2 8 subtracted from 26 is 18 again you have to do the same operation on the left hand side also but 
not with this previous matrix with respect to the original matrix so r1 into 2 subtracted from r3 so 1 into 2 is 2 subtracted from 0 is minus 2 that is written here 0 into 2 is 0 subtracted from 0 written here and 0 into 2 is 0 subtracted from 1 is 1 written here and this is our E2 or elementary matrix 2. Now we have got two zeros. We need another zero at this position. For that we can multiply the row 2 by 2 and subtract that from row 3. Remember we will not use row 1 in this case because if we do so and if we multiply this by 2 and subtract that from R3 we will get a minus 2 at this position and this zero will vanish. So we will use row 2 instead of row 1. So let's multiply row 2 and subtract them from row 3 that is written here R3 is equals to R3 minus 2 into R2. So let's do it 0 into 2 is 0 subtract from 0 is 0 6 into 2 is 12 subtract from 12 is equals to 0 and 8 into 2 16 subtract from 18 is equals to 2. And we have to do the same operation on left hand side also with respect to original identity matrix. 2 into R2 subtracted from R3. So 2 into 0 is 0 subtracted from 0 is 0. 2 into 1 is 2 subtracted from 0 is minus 2 is written here. And 2 into 0 is 0 subtracted from 1 is 1 written here. And that is our elementary matrix 3 or E3. And after each step, we will do multiply the previous step value with A. So after this E1 into A, after this E2 into E1 into A. And after this E3 into E2 into E1 into A. That is equals to U. So this is our required upper triangular matrix where the lower triangle elements are 0 and all the elements are on the upper triangle. So this is our form E3 into E2 into E1 into A is equals to U. This is written mathematically, nothing else. So if we transfer this E3 into E2 into E1 to right hand side, you will get inverses of them and you will get a on the left hand side. So that is written here E1 inverse into E2 inverse into E3 inverse into U is equals to A. And we know L into U is equals to A. So we can say this is equals to L. So E1 inverse into E2 inverse into E3 inverse is equals to L. We have already got U and now we will get L. So I have found inverses for you. So this is E1 inverse, this is E2 inverse and this is E3 inverse. And if you multiply them together, you will get L. I will tell you how to find out the inverses directly on the calculator. And now we know L into U is equals to A. So now we will multiply this L written here into U obtained earlier and we will get A. This is our original matrix. So we have obtained the L and U by the manual process that is pen and paper method. Now I will tell you how to find them out using the scientific calculator. So for that turn on the calculator by on button, press mode and 6 for matrix, press 6 and press 1 for matrix A and again 1 for 3 cross 3 matrix and now we will enter our E1 as matrix A, E2 as matrix B and E3 as matrix C. So let's enter them. So first enter the E1 as matrix A, A written here. So 1 press equals to to enter the cursor will move to next field 0 and 0 so there are already zeros you can skip them by joystick right 
and here is minus 3 so minus 3 press equals to to enter 1 again 0 skip it again 2 0 skip it and 1 at this position and press AC to clear screen and now we will enter E2 for that press shift 4 for matrix mode 2 for data and 2 for matrix B and now enter E2 matrix and 1 for 3 cross 3 so 1 equals to 2 zeros are there skip them and 0 1 0 so 0 1 0 skip it and minus 2 again 0 and 1 so this is our matrix B press AC to clear screen shift 4 2 for data and 3 for matrix C and 1 for 3 cross 3 and now in matrix C we will enter E3 1, 2 0, skip them, 0, 1, 0, skip it, 0, minus 2 and 1 and press AC to clear screen and after entering the matrices you can verify them by shift 4 and 2 data and 1, 2, 3, matrix A, B and C. So let's say verify matrix A. It's 1 0 0 minus 3 1 0 and 0 0 1. 1 0 0 minus 3 1 0 and 0 0 1. So now we will find out the inverses of matrix E1 that is matrix A, E2 that is matrix B and E3 that is matrix C. And we will multiply them. You can also multiply directly the inverses on the calculator so first I will tell you how to find out the inverse so first to find out matrix A is inverse press shift 4 3 for matrix A and this button for inverse and press equals to so this is matrix A is inverse so A inverse or E1 inverse is 1 0 0 3 1 0 and 0 0 1 Similarly, you can find out matrix B and C is inverse, but now I will tell you how to multiply the inverses directly. So press shift 4, 3 for matrix A, inverse into shift 4 and 4 for matrix B, inverse into shift 4 and 5 for matrix C and this button for inverse and press equals to. So we have directly find out the A inverse into B inverse into C inverse instead of finding the inverses individually. So multiplying all together you will get L. Just let's check it. 1 0 0 3 1 0 and 2 2 1. 1 0 0 3 1 0 and 2 2 1. This is our required L by this formula. So we have obtained L we obtained u earlier by row reduction method this is u with a lower triangle of all zeros and all the elements are on the upper triangle so now let's multiply l into u and see whether we get the a or not remember after multiplying the inverses we got our answer matrix you can see answer that is stored in matrix 6 shift 4 and 6 for matrix answer and now meanwhile if you do any other multiplication this matrix answer variable will replace so don't do any multiplication right now and now our matrix L is stored into matrix answer and we will store our matrix U into matrix A for that we will press 2 for data and 1 for matrix A and now enter this matrix as matrix A so 1 3, 4, 0, 6, 8 and 0, 0, 2 and now we will do L into U that is matrix 6 into matrix A press equals to 
This is our original matrix K. Let's verify. 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 3, 15, 20, 3, 15, 20, and 2, 18, 26. 2, 18, 26. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. I will upload more calculator videos for you. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So that when I will upload my next video, you will get an email if you subscribe. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.